Around the country, statues of historical figures linked to racist events in the nation's past have been coming down, sometimes by force. Last night, a group of protesters in Washington's Lafayette Park tried to pull down the statue of Andrew Jackson, President Trump's favorite president. Amber Cagliano reports. D.C. Park Police battled protesters and narrowly prevented them from hauling down the statue of President Andrew Jackson. There were ropes and chains hung around the statue as protesters pulled with all their might to bring it down. The heart-stopping drama outside the White House unfolded live on TV. We're inside the White House. The Secret Service came around and asked for us to leave. That is something that I don't think has ever happened since I've been inside the White House. The protesters declared a Black House autonomous zone in Lafayette Square and defaced St. John's Church, where President Trump staged that controversial photo op three weeks ago. The president is expected to sign an executive order beefing up laws against vandalizing statues. We are looking at long-term jail sentences for these vandals and these hoodlums and these anarchists and agitators and call him whatever you want. The 15-ton statue of Jackson has been standing outside the White House for 167 years. It has special significance because Jackson is a favorite of President Trump's. He placed a portrait of Old Hickory in the Oval Office. Ready to attack? Jackson became a national hero when he won the Battle of New Orleans in 1815, but he also owned 161 slaves and brutally mistreated Native Americans. This is Columbus Circle in Manhattan with the statue of Christopher Columbus high above. This and other landmarks in cities across America are in jeopardy as the movement to destroy statues of divisive figures gains momentum. The statue of Columbus in St. Paul was torn down. There were cheers when this statue of Confederate President Jefferson Davis was hauled off its pedestal in Richmond, Virginia. Popular mechanics even published this article on how to topple a statue using science, detailing a variety of ways to destroy a monument. But the view's Megan McCain says the effort to remove monuments is going too far. How far does this go? Are we talking about removing Mount Rushmore? Oh,